Hello and welcome back everybody. In the last episode we started working on the spawn point system. Um, so we have this little cube, we can duplicate him, drag him over, and when we start the game they should both disappear because they, they are in fact invisible spawn points. Um, I'm just I'm going to delete one just so we can work on one master copy. And then go ahead and click apply to make sure this applies to the prefab. Now, what do we want to do with this? Well, we, we need to keep track of these, and then when, whenever it's time to spawn a new wave, um, we can just spawn enemies with, within these. So let's go ahead and create a list of spawn points. Public array list spawn points. And wave manager is a singleton. There's only ever going to be one wave manager. And so an easy way to reference this is by using the singleton um, data structure. So we can do public static wave manager instance. And if you have no idea what a singleton is, don't worry about it. Um, it you, you can look it up online. It's a pretty common um, design paradigm. So there, there's lots of like references online, but it, it, it's not super important. Basically, it's just this line and this line, and then later you can access this specific object by referencing this public variable. So now what do we want to do? We're, we're trying to create a list of spawn points. And so I'm, I'm thinking the easiest way is to just use this singleton reference and have the spawn points contact the wave manager and say, hey, I exist, put me in your list. Um, we could also have the wave manager search through every single game object and tally the wave, the spawn points as they go. Um, but that's a lot of extra work, especially if we get up to like six or seven hundred game objects. It, it's just creating an unnecessary processing when the game starts. So we're going to have the spawn points contact the wave manager and tell them where they, where they are. Um, so to do that within start, we want we want spawn point to contact wave manager and so let's set up a public function within the wave manager public void register spawn point and it's looking for a variable of type spawn point and we're just going to store that within the spawn points array list Fairly straightforward. So now, when the spawn point calls this method, they can pass in a reference to themselves, and then that just gets added to the list. And so to do that here, wave manager dot instance dot register spawn point this. So as, as soon as he gets loaded up, he just contacts the wave manager and says, "Hey, add me," and the wave manager does that. So now down here, when we change the wave. If we want to start spawning enemies, we can just say, um, essentially spawn at any spawn point. And now later, if we want to, we can create a method within the spawn point to check if, if there's something blocking it. For example, if an enemy spawned here, now there's something inside it. We don't want to spawn a second enemy there. Um, we, we could check for that inside the spawn point. But the first thing I want to do is just make sure basic spawning works. So when we call wave 1, I'm just going to say if spawn points dot length or count is greater than 0, as long as we have somewhere to spawn an enemy, And let's go ahead and create a, another function for actually spawning the enemy. Void spawn enemy. For now, that won't take any parameters. And that will spawn one enemy. So in wave one, we just call spawn enemy one time. And now within that, if spawn points exist, uh, game object dot instantiate enemy prefab uh, spawn points 
dot Nix of no, that's not right. Well, first of all, we need a reference to the enemy prefab. So let's let's set that up. Public game object enemy prefab. Save, and this isn't going to compile because this line isn't finished. So we need to comment that out. And then after we compile and create a reference to the enemy, we can continue forward. So go to Wave Manager, make sure everything compiled correctly. Now we have the enemy prefab field. Drag in Axon. And now we know what to spawn. Alright, so now we need a reference to the actual spawn point, so we can say spawn points or spawn point SP equals spawn points zero as spawn point. And I'm not sure if that'll work, but but basically I'm trying to just grab the first thing out of the array, cast it as a spawn point, and then assign it to this spawn point variable. And it worked. Fantastic. Now, now that we have a reference to that, we can say enemy prefab, um, and we're trying to put it on top of the spawn point. So that'd be sp dot game or transform dot position, sp dot transform dot rotation. All right. So I think that'll work. I think once the game starts, we're gonna wait one second, and then call change wave. which is here. Oh, sorry. Well, it, it's going to start the game. We're going to wait three seconds. Then we're going to call start game. And we're going to pass in a value of one. And that's going to call this, which is going to update the display text. And then we're going to spawn the enemy here. That's going to check if we have at least one spawn point. If we do, we're going to grab that spawn point and put an enemy there. And it broke. Object reference not set to an instance of an object on line 12. Wave manager instance register spawn point this. All right. So either it doesn't have instance. Yeah, that, I think that has to be what it is. So for some reason. Um, this line got called before this line, and so Wave Manager instance hasn't been assigned yet. So to fix that, just change this to awake, and I, I think that'll fix our problem. So we just have to make sure this this reference exists before this line gets called, and it still broke, which is frustrating. Spawn points dot add spawn point. Object reference not set to an instance of an object. Oh, all right. So now we're trying to add an object to a list that hasn't been created yet. So we we need to make sure we initialize this list. Spawn points equals new array list. I think that's enough. All right. So that worked. Um, but you'll notice we don't have... Oh, there he is. Haha, <laughs> it worked. So just one more try. Make sure everything looks fine. Good enough. And if we want to later, we can add more control for... Um, like, like making the enemy spawn from hidden positions. Uh, I, I think... That'll be enough for this video. Um, I, ho I hope everything made sense, but basically we just found this position and spawned an enemy there. It's pretty straightforward. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoy my channel, please consider subscribing, and I will see you in the next video.